In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save layers as separate images in Photoshop. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make full and mini tutorials like this one on Photoshop, Premiere, and videos on freelancing tips, so please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of those. Let's get into how we can save layers as separate images in Photoshop. So I have my project here that has a bunch of layers in it and I want to export or save each of these layers as its own image. There's a few ways to do this in Photoshop and I'll quickly just show you the long way to do it first. I could just go and hide each of these layers and only leave one of them visible at a time. Then I can go up to file and select save as and a dialog box should pop up where I can tell Photoshop what type of file that I want to save it as and where I want to save it on my computer. Now I'd have to repeat this step over and over for each layer and that can get very tedious and time consuming not to mention if you have a bunch of sub layers within those layers exporting them can get really tricky as well. There is another quicker way to save layers separately all at once. If I go back to file and this time go down to export and then go to layers to files a new dialog box should come up and now I can change the type of image file that I want to save the layers as. There's a few different types to select from. I can either keep them as PSD files or make them JPEGs or even PNG files. Let's go ahead and select PNG. There's a checkbox above that which allows you to export visible layers only. So any of the layers that are currently hidden will not export if I have this checked. Next, if there's any transparent backgrounds within the layers, make sure you select this checkbox as it will keep those transparencies intact. The next option is interlaced, and this really determines how big the file size is. In my opinion, you don't really need to have images interlaced anymore. This was originally tended for websites way back in the day when images would take forever to load on screen. And so what an interlaced image would do is it would load onto a website first as a lower quality resolution, and then it would render into a higher quality version of it as the website fully loaded. This was a way to improve the online viewing experience so people weren't just sitting around waiting for an entire website to load up. But with today's internet speeds, you don't really need this option anymore, so you could keep it as non-interlaced and it should be totally fine. The last option here is to trim layers, and that will crop or trim the size of the layer image down to just the pixel area that the image or graphic takes up. For example, my text layer would be cropped or trimmed to just the area that has the text in it. So the image size would not match the rest of the project size, but if I leave this unchecked, all the layers will be exported as the same image size as my project. Next, we just need to tell Photoshop where to save the files, and I'm going to save it to a folder that I have set up on my desktop. After that, all I need to do is select Run, and that's basically it. Now the layers should be all exported out as separate images. So that's how you can save layers as separate images in Photoshop. What other kind of issues are you guys having with layers? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and feel free to share with anyone else who might also enjoy it. For more information on Photoshop, Premiere, and freelancing tips, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com and follow me on Twitter at Scott E. Fowler. Also, check out my other tutorial videos which I've posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that's it for me guys. See you in the next video.